Are you ready to go berserk? We're gonna paint a berserker! Now I don't know what I'm doing. So yes, today we are painting a berserker for the forces of Isengard, and uh... We're also gonna be learning how to paint a hand... And... Some fire. Let's get started. So here we are with our Berserker, and as you can see, well, I don't have any normal ones. I've got the one that comes in the uh, Urukai Siege Team, but he will do for now. And we're going to be starting off with, of course, the armor. Now luckily, he doesn't really have much. He has a helmet and you, you do a sword. I wouldn't really count that as armor, but, you know, I always forget to tell it. So as normal, with the Urukai, I like to bri uh, dry brush them with some iron breaker so yeah get your tissue there just just dab it on get all that stuff off and you know painting that at the same time as you do and just dry brush that helmet and a sword So, here he is, all middled up, and um, as you can see, there's actually a bit of chainmail on his loincloth. So, um, just a little bit extra to do, but it's really no problem. Now, next we're going to do is, we're going to actually paint the loincloth, and see his little wooden stick here, holding the fire? We're going to be painting that as well. So, what you want to do, is get your Ronix hide. Yep and we're just going to paint that all over it all right so here he is after all the brown is done um and as you can probably just see in the video he's actually got some uh, brown boots on uh just wearing with the boots that his toes are showing and of course i did his glove as well you can just see that there but anyway, it's time to move on to the skin. And this is pretty much most of the model. So, which is great. This guy's pretty easy to paint. So, we're going to start off by getting a bit of Doom Bull Brown. And we're just going to paint this all over his skin. And um, again, if you do want to put a Ronix Hide base coat on, that's fine. But I think, I think Doom Bull Brown goes over his skin quite fine. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so here is our Berserker, uh, his skin is all done, and the great thing about Berserkers is they are very detailed on their uh, body, so when they get their wash it's pretty enjoyable to do all the layering, but until then, we're going to quickly do the teeth in his mouth, and that's of course going to be with Xandri Dust, shouldn't take too long, just uh, just make sure, and not all Berserkers have show their tusks, and um, yeah. Be nice and easy. Let's get this done. Alright, and now it's time to get started on this flaming brand here. And we're going to start by giving it a base coat of Celeste Grey. Just try to make sure that you keep it to the actual flaming brand and not the actual stick. So just get that nice and covered. Alright, and this is how our Berserk is looking so far. And now we're just going to be doing another coat over his uh, grey flaming brand at the moment. And it's going to be a coat of Ulthran Grey. So just the same as Celestra Grey, just cover it all over and it should be fine. So a berserker is starting to get there, but as you can see, he's looking a bit barren. There's something missing, and of course, it is the white hands of Isengard. Now, it's not so bad to not put them on your normal soldiers. Um, don't have mine here at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, the one I did the other day, he's sort of hidden from me, but... Uh, so, with the normal soldiers, you can just not put the hand on them, but with berserkers... You can definitely tell something's missing when uh, they don't have white hands. Now, white hands are quite difficult. 
I, I'm not gonna lie. And the important thing is to actually start with practice. Now, some people might say it's good to just practice on a bit of paper and, you know, just do it that way. But I think it's actually good to practice on top of the little paints. The reason why, I just want to focus. The reason why is because uh, you're not going to be painting over a flat surface. You're going to, it's, going, it's always going to be a bit of curvature. And I think the curvature of the top of the paint just, just gives you a bit of uh, preparation of what's to come. But as you can see, I've done a couple practices here. Uh, this one, don't worry about it. I just, yeah, I was just seeing if I used Celestial Grey or Ultram Grey. But the answer is Ultram Grey. Now, you, of course, you can go with a strong white, but I think Ultram Grey just works quite well on the uh, dark uh, dark models of Isengard. But anyway, let's get started. So it is important to really take your time with this. Breathe slowly. Try and keep your hand steady. Get as much paint off the off your brush as possible. And keeping with the practice of what I did earlier, if I could find it. Of course, this is where I don't find my my little hands. What I like to do, if you just want to get in focus, just do a little palm print there. Oh, and the paint is starting to dry. So this is just a half palm here. Too long. I'll start off with a little dot just to give you a little bit of, just a little bit of um guidance. But yeah, so start off with a little dot, and then just make a little thumb. I've got a little bit too much paint on my paintbrush, but it's all right. Try again. Just again, make sure you, you do get the paint off the brush just to make it not so thick lines. And then I'll make the other palm print here. Just another dot sort of next to it. And then I just sort of do a line above both the dots. I'm sort of filling in the gaps, but leaving, leaving the red coming through. So as you can probably see, it's starting to come together. And finally, it's the fingers. I always do the fingers last, because sometimes if you do the fingers low, First, they just seem like they're spaced out a bit too much in my opinion but yes so start off with a finger Oh, and there we have our white hand. Um, not gonna lie, it's not my best, but uh, I'm gonna do a few more on this guy and see how it comes out afterwards. Back in the tick. All right, so here's the berserker after adding a few white hands to the body. Got two on the shoulder pads here, and got one on well shoulder pads, shoulder blades, and uh, one on this helmet. So yeah, you can add more if you want or less. You know, it's all up to you. I think berserkers just look better with them. But, anyway, it's time to do some washes, and, as always, we're bringing out the powerful non oil. Give it a good shake, and we're just going to cover this all over his body, except for the flaming brand here. Alright, so here is the Berserker after a non oil wash, and you can see the recesses of his muscles just look really good. 
Um, it just brings the whole model to life, and that's just for all berserkers, really. Now, as that drives, we're going to get started on his flaming brand, and uh, basically, it's you're going to need three washers, and that's going to be Cassandora Yellow, Fugin Orange, and Bloodletter. We're starting off with some uh, Cassandora Yellow. So just give it a nice good shake, and we're just going to put the yellow over the entire flaming brand. Just make sure you get all the all the white grayish areas. All right, and there's the first coat. Now we got to wait for everything to dry before we move on. So here is our berserker, all washed up. Um, as you can see, uh, his flame isn't quite uh, dry yet, but we're gonna work on himself. Now we're gonna get the Doom Bull Brown out again, and we're just gonna be layering all his muscles and all that just to make him stand out a bit more. Basically, leave all the uh, definition in there where all the uh, non oil has sunk in. Just really make it all stand out. Alright, and here we go. And, and, and as you can see, he just looks really amazing with all the uh, definition in his body. Uh, I just think Berserkers look so cool when they're all done up. But anyway, we're going to stick with the Doom Bull Brown and we're just going to quickly highlight all the normal brown on his loincloth and his shoes and his gloves and a little bit on the stick. Not too much though, as uh, it will be a bit more dull. So, just get the small brush and this shouldn't take too long as there's barely anything on there. And with that done, it's just time to go on to the silver. And we're just going to quickly do a, a few highlights using Iron Breaker again, just on a sword, his helmet. Um, and yeah, that's it. Good old Berserker's not wearing much. Right, so here we are with the Berserker. And we're just going to be finish on, finishing off this flaming brand here. Now, with the orange, it's not quite as before. We're not going to be covering the whole thing with the orange. We're just going to be sort of leaving the tops of it yellow and just sort of doing the base as orange. All right, so here's our berserker looking and uh, nearly there. Just got to finish off the flaming brand with a bit of blood later. Let's get that on there. And again, just like the orange, we're going to be keeping a bit of orange and yellow, but at the very bottom, you can just make it red. So, just get a bit more on there. And just like so. Now, you just got to wait for that to dry. But, in saying that, he is all finished. And uh, that is the end of this Berserker, and of course in the future it's going to be a lot easier because not all of them have flaming brands, but yeah, pretty happy with this guy. Just the hands just make him look a little bit more uh, cool, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with this. Berserkers really are awesome models, and the great thing is, is that basically with the same paint style you can do Feral Urukai as well. I would do a fair aura car, but I don't have any. Anyway, still got a few more War and Rohan stuff to do, and that's going to be basically got a Wild Rider coming and got a Royal Guard of uh, of Rohan, about to say Gondor. Um, and if I can, I might do a uh, Dunland Warrior. A little hard at the moment, as I don't have any. And um, it's one hundred and thirty-five dollars to buy a packet. We'll just see. I'll just see how it goes. But uh. After that, I think it's time to move on to my next task, which would be revealed in an upcoming video. Anyway, this is Buck and Duck signing out.